to just not look at my work phone because there's a common theme of like people just being really weird I can't, I can't even describe it but yesterday was a good day I wanted to be more like in the moment and like more present um like when I go out with friends and whatnot and not have to worry about taking pictures of things in a store and whatnot for like my content um so I did that yesterday like me and my friend like went to uh dinner and we had like drinks and then we met up with our other friend and had more drinks. And like prior to that, we had went to Hermes. And like, honestly, I feel like a lot of people come online and bash Hermes and like the whole process. I, I don't wanna say I'm siding with Hermes because it's like capitalism, why are you gonna? As long as you're there to act like a normal customer, Usually, most of the time, at least in my experience, they've treated me like a normal customer. I've been to that store in Toronto maybe three times now. The first time with my friend, she was looking for something, they didn't have what she wanted. Second time, I went in with her as well, and I was looking for two things, and they had it, and I bought it. And when I was with the lady, she was like, she was super sweet, by the way. Um, she was like, oh, by the way, you have to like show ID like at cash, like when you're purchasing leather goods. And... Again, I'm assuming this is because they're trying to protect their brand and they don't want resellers or whatever And I had no problem with showing ID because I was there to buy it for myself I don't see that as a game I just see that as a company who wants to sell things to people who genuinely love and like their product and want to wear it themselves Like I kind of just see it that way The one thing when I that I disagree with is when sales associates get snooty and snobby and are rude to you for like no apparent reason do you get treated a bit better when I'm dressed better but for the most part like I usually am pretty chill and I don't have any problems like but then I looked around and I was like oh yeah I remember the Hermes ear cuffs like the um, you know like the click clack bracelets like or whatever the, the cuffs I don't like those like at all to be honest but when I saw the ear cuff I thought it was like really cute but Whenever I went online to look at them, they were sold out. I don't know if you know this, but like on Hermes's website, whenever they're sold out of something, you can't really see all the colors. It's been sold out since last year, so I was like, oh, I'm like to the lady, I'm like, oh, do you mind helping me like with the ear cuffs? Do you guys have them? And she was like, yeah, like we just got some in. And I was like, cool. She's like, do you want like a tube or whatever? And she starts like speaking French, like saying the co colors and the letters in French. And I was like, uh, I was kind of like confused because <laughs> It was, it just sounded mad French and I was like, what is she saying? Is she speaking English right now? I wasn't processing it. And I was like, oh, like I'm looking for a black one. Immediately she started like having this tone with me and being kind of aggressive and she was just like, oh, I don't have like the black one or whatever. And I was like, okay, like that's fine. I realized it too then meant taupe. And then after I was like looking at it and then I pulled out my phone to take a picture and the one time I wasn't taking pictures in the store this girl was just like oh by the way you can't take photos of product <laughs> you can just go online and I was like and she said it with the attitude and I was like babes I'm like honestly like this interaction right now and the aggression which isn't even passive at this point it's so unnecessary because like really and truly that interaction could have been like 10 minutes with me I would have bought the ear cuff and left the store like it wasn't that deep so my friend she she catches the attitude she's giving me and she's like what is going on with this woman and she was like oh that's strange because that's the first time I've ever heard that she was just like yeah you you can't really take photos and then my friend was just like oh really because I've done it before and it was awkward and then the lady kind of started to like be chill with me and trying to like laugh and kiki with me and I was kind of just like you know what like you sussed the experience at that point because I even though she didn't have the black she had it too <laughs> I was actually considering getting the the taupe color or the brown color because I was like you know what I'm really into brown this year but I then realized I'm like you know what Hermes brown I actually don't like I I could hate on it and roast it right now but I won't because I know a lot of people like it um 
and then the taupe color it just looked kind of gray to me it looked a little like like bland it looked lifeless i personally don't like it taupe and i don't like the hermes brown and that's probably why those were the ear cuffs that were left um i tried on the ear cuff and it was actually too small and then she was kind of trying to be friendly she's like oh yeah i'm like i have small ears so it was like falling down and not like sitting up i've worked in sales for 13 years of my life and a majority of the time when people buy something half the time or maybe 90 percent of the time it's not about the product itself it's about the experience so like something could maybe not fit me properly like the ear cuffs falling off and if shorty said babes you look cute if she was making jokes with me we were laughing i would have been like you know what maybe i can actually just wear the ear cuff like down low instead of in the middle like we could have I don't know she could have given me style advice or something because when i went back onto the website today they only had a tube a tube available and the model also had funny enough she also had dwarf ears like me i actually have really small ears i've never spoken about it because i'm like why am i gonna bring attention to that but like and she was wearing it low so instead of you being kind of aggressive with me or whatever you really could have just been like no you can actually wear it lower you don't have to wear it up here blah 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 and then she looks over to my friend who is white and wearing a Chanel bag and she's like, oh, are you like, do you want to see like the ring you were talking about? Like, do you want to see anything? My friend's like, no. <laughs> it's funny because I, it, during the interaction, I just acted oblivious because I notice when I get mad and give those people who are showing me aggression what they want, like I give them attitude back, they get what they want and then they feel good. But... It was just better for me to just keep quiet so that was like the first bad i mean luxury experience i've had um even we went into chanel after and the lady there was so sweet everybody's been being so sweet to me in chanel recently and i've just ha been having such bad luck with chanel because every time i go in there and i'm looking for something they just don't have it and that's all i need you don't have to kiss my feet like just be nice like just say hi hello and make a little bit of an effort i'm usually not in these stores for like longer than like 10 15 minutes like it's not that which is so weird today's a day off and we're doing our hair um if you guys have not tried k18 get on it if you have chemically treated hair it just puts the life back in your hair especially like your curls that you leave in a leave-in molecular repair hair mask i'm gonna build this bookshelf Frankly, I've never built anything before, so we're gonna try. <laughs> this is actually a towel rack that I use to like hang some of like my newer pieces or just the colors that I'm wearing in general a lot. And I just don't have a place to put my accessories. Like I'll hang a couple of like sunglasses or necklaces there, but I just need some shelves for accessories because that's the thing. Like I really want to get more into styling the pieces I own this year um because i just i just feel like i keep buying a whole bunch of new stuff to like get inspiration but like half the time if you just style the stuff in your wardrobe properly in the way you want you can create new ideas so if i have my accessories out on display i'll be able to style and create new outfits this is an allen this is this is an allen key this is what you screw things with so i don't need the screwdriver right Gucci and these little rubber pads. These probably go at the bottom. This, I bet, is gonna be a simple. This could be simple.
very nice, Daniel. That is it. That is her. She's so cute. I'm gonna fill it like with all my accessories tomorrow. Like the five shelves are like gonna be super handy because I want to put jewelry, hats, a couple of handbags. I don't have that many handbags. Um, and I kind of want to rearrange it and like color code it or something. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. Right now I'm pooped. I don't know how people be doing stuff like that. Because <laughs> frankly, I can assist someone next time, but to do it on my own again, I'm okay. But it was pretty straightforward because it had, <laughs> it's honestly like dummy proof. It had like the letters, it labeled every like part, all the screws and everything from like A, B, C, D, I think to like G or something. Um, so it was pretty straightforward. Screw A into the rack B and then you just screw it and you could pretty much screw it with your hand. I had a couple of times where I was messing up where I just had to use the Allen key instead of my hand. Um, cause I don't know, it was just weird, but I went over the screws with the Allen key to make sure they were tighter. By the way, that K18 totally made my hair perk back up. Um, cause it just wasn't as like not as curly um the curls weren't as tight because of the heat i was using and stuff oh and the plopping method the plopping method also did help with scrunching my hair i plopped overnight because like someone was in the bathroom and stuff and then i was like i just fell asleep but i don't think i like plopping overnight because it made the back like back here really soft of my hair and then it didn't hold as nicely so i think i'll plop for like an hour or two and then it gets rid of most of the moisture and then I can go in and diffuse. Yeah, I didn't think I'd like plopping. I thought it was like for looser texture kind of thing. I have to get ready. I have a work party. We're going to have dinner at this place in downtown Toronto. The place is called Taroni. It's just like a pretty basic like Italian place. It's nothing super super fancy. What am I gonna wear? See I want to look nice but it's a polar vortex in Toronto right now. I have this down skirt from Montclair. I think I might wear that. It's crazy because there's like down inside of it. So that'll like keep me warm. Yeah, like it's been like minus 20, minus 30 for like the past week. It's insane. I'm going to get ready for that. <laughs> I will now put the stuff in the shelf. <laughs> Come together really well. I try to keep certain colors on different shelves. I really like the black shelf a lot. So sparkly. Orange is a vibe. This <laughs> nude and green. And pink and grays go so well together. And I really want to start wearing some red this year. I still can fit the rest of my handbags in this little... I spoke about this on my channel last year, but I got this from Superstore. But I'm sure I can link this from like Ikea or H&M or something. I'll try and find something similar. Boxes for storage as well too. Like they look pretty because like usually these designer boxes are nice. They're also like really practical. So in here caps and like a couple of headbands and then ugh, I just don't have enough room to fit all the rest of my hats. I don't even think I can fit it in this box. I will figure that out and then I put like some belts and stuff and miscellaneous and scarves in this box. What's nice is I can still kind of hang some accessories on the towel rack as well too so yeah it's coming together pretty nicely. Shut up. You don't like my aesthetic? I'm gonna like it today. <sighs> I've been 
finding Nikes and I've been finding them from like regular regular places it's actually so insane at first I kind of didn't want to say where I got them from because <laughs> I was like do I really want to expose but you know what if you watch my vlogs you get to know the tea <laughs> So I walked into Nike with my friend, I saw these sneakers and I was like, oh my gosh, they were a size too big and I was like, do you have my size somewhere else? They tried to find it at like Ian Center and they couldn't find it. So I like Googled online and I found this boutique based in Ottawa. I guess the people in Ottawa aren't sneakerheads, unlike Torontonians. Pro tip is to get your Nikes from boutiques across Canada that aren't in like major cities um and i'm sure you can do this like worldwide sneaker boutique i will link down below for you guys because i love you i think it's called normal these launched about a month ago and the fact that they still had sizes online like i was baffled maybe because it's a recession right now and it's right after christmas and nobody's really thinking about buying stuff but i was like how are all the sizes still available after a sneaker launch green jordan ones i prefer the mid jordan ones like i don't know all the lingo about them do they say them on the box air jordan one retro high og whatever um i know there's like the mid one which i actually prefer the mid but i don't mind the high ones um there's just like is there more color on it i'm really in my silver area right now so the fact that i have some of this, like silver on the nike check this would be so cute with my alexander wang sparkle wang this is like it's gonna be such a cute look these are them they're so adorable and then i can put in the white laces but i just feel like the green laces are so much cuter they're just even more special because i got them as like a christmas gift too most of the time if you shop ahead of the season you're gonna get what you want when you shop for things while the season is around, like summertime, you're not going to find your sandals and your sneakers. This one I haven't seen yet. I literally just opened out of the box. It shipped here. I got these from Essence. I always tend to forget that Essence has a really good Nike buy and they usually get a lot of the releases too. And I feel like maybe the world forgets that as well, but these, oh, how are these going to look? I really hope they're cute. Just like love color like i'm in love with color this is just really nostalgic for me because i used to wear a lot of jordans in high school so i just feel like i'm kind of coming full circle with my style again red jordans and i'd wear like the red skinny jeans <laughs> orange oh my gosh these are so nice women's air jordan one retro they're also a pair of and they have the little charms on them okay even though like Hermes pissed me off yesterday like I'm having a better day now this is so freaking cute and the brown leather I'm really into brown this is gonna be so cute with all my brown outfits this these summer fits you guys check out essence i talk about them all the time on my channel i love making essence videos because i genuinely love their site i love the i love the designer brands that they stock and everything and when you find something good you find something good nikes for retail like that's all i want i don't want to have to pay a premium for any of these brands that i genuinely like him jumping there and then a basketball this like these are so extra but i'm totally leaving them on are you supposed to take them off I want to try some new ways of drying my hair. Um, I don't know if you guys seen the whole pasta strainer thing going around on like social media about like girls flipping their head over and, and dipping their head in like a pasta strainer and then diffusing with like their entire hair with the pasta strainer. Um, I don't know if I should try that. A friend responded to my story and was like, why don't you just plop your hair? And I've never tried plopping. I've usually only seen girls with like looser textures plop their hair it's so, like is it gonna work for me i feel like my hair is a little too thick like i'd have to like dry it part of the way like with a blow dryer we'll see but have a good night i'm still learning how to do this plop thing <laughs> i think i need a bigger t-shirt but um i want to quickly say how if you are a natural girly and like you swear by your curly hair routine you probably use like 
two or three products, I'm challenging you to try one. Um, and I do think your hair needs to be at a certain point where you're using the right products and your hair is really moisturized, but I used to really dislike the Uncle Funky Curly Magic, and I never understood why it said Firm Hold Curl Enhancing Gel because my hair would only last a couple of days. But when I was using it, I was using it with a leave-in conditioner from another brand so they probably weren't compatible but on top of that with a lot of these natural gels and I'm saying this mainly for natural gels if you're using natural products they have moisturizing components in them so you don't necessarily need a leave-in so I randomly one day I was just like honestly I don't want to go to the beauty supply store it's far and like I'm gonna spend another hundred dollars there so I was like let me just try this without anything under I'm telling you my hair lasted like 12 days I kid you not and it was like the greatest thing ever I've never I've watched one youtuber um and her name was like happy curl happy girl or whatever I need to start holding the this is more flattering um happy curl happy girl and she would do reviews on gels styling gels and she would never use a leave-in and I'm like girl that's illegal but she would do it because she wants to see how the gel or the product the styling product performs on its own which is so valid I don't know why I never listen I love her, her videos I don't know why I never listen so just try it just try it one time I do think you need to have your hair be in a consistent curly hair routine that's moisturizing in order for your earl your curls to kind of like react pretty well to that but I'm telling you K18 and that Amika green mask so good especially if you have like chemically processed hair I plopped for like an hour and a bit and I took it down and like I like that my ends look scrunched like they look nice and scrunched without me going at it with the diffuser but like my roots weren't dry like they were really wet so I think plopping is great for the ends of your hair but the center if you have thick hair mm, babes it's not really gonna work yeah like I'm so happy that I like this now am I talking a lot is this even interesting to you is it appealing hello No, we're trying to be skinny. No, we're trying to be skinny. I said no. Cluster lashes from Amazon. There's a difference between irritation and allergy. And I have been doing my lashes for a year and a half. And I now have developed an allergy to it. It's weird because I'm not someone with sensitive skin. I don't react to like anything basically. Um, in my opinion, I feel like you can... Be irritated enough to then later gain an allergy um, but whatever it is what it is I'm salty not gonna lie cuz I miss having my lashes done all the time but I'm kind of getting used to having like a bare look but I, I used to use Lashify and Lashify is great but it's kind of expensive so um, I might just start using their glue and then use the Amazon lashes but um, I bought the Amazon glue as well too to try. So we're gonna mix it up a little bit because I have the Lash Pie tweezers and everything in the box. So I still have the Lash Pie wand. Should I try? I think I wanna try the matching glue to the lashes just to see how it works. And then if this glue is not that great, then I'll try the Lash Pie Lash Pie glue. So I got D curl and C curl. D is curlier than C. So I think, okay, I always like a cat eye, so I think we're going to definitely do longer on the ends because I feel like cat eye looks better when it's less curled on the ends. It just gives that like winged look. So I'm going to play around with this. Prefer the Lashify glue. I, I like think I want a refund for this. Like it's not actually attaching. The glue, the glue, I can tell. The glue is horrible. Okay. So I think they came out. Should I not? Okay. 
I used to clean up that mess. We're going to ignore that. I think they came out pretty well. I don't know if I'm in love with like this lash style, but I think they're pretty good for what they are. For $12 lashes and then me doing this once a week, I think it's pretty cute. So, I am totally going to make a smoothie. I haven't made a smoothie in so long and I'm very excited because I'm trying to get on my health kick because we are turning 30 in like two months. And like honestly... I'm tired of flip-flopping back and forth with my weight. Like, I feel like for the longest time, I've gotten to, like, a good idea, and then I've eaten poorly and then gotten back to being, like, too thick for my liking. I just, like, want to start doing smoothies. Like, all the little Pinterest girls, because their smoothies be looking so cute. Like, I totally saved so many of them. A strawberry banana smoothie. I have this blessed protein powder which I tried on its own and it wasn't giving. It smells so good though. If I can make a good smoothie with this protein powder, I would be so happy. Um, we have some dates. I can't get it out of my head. My sister said that dates look like roaches and like now. The banana is really sweet so I might not need the dates, but maybe I'll put like one or two in. Like my all time favorite smoothie is from IQ, if you're not from like Toronto, Canada or whatever, um, IQ is like one of those health food stores like Air One <laughs> that everyone keeps posting about or Sweet Green, some people have, like, Clean Juice or something like that. I keep buying the Mr. Peanut Smoothie from IQ, like it's so good guys, you need to try it. Um, but I think I can recreate it because they put on their website like everything that's in it. Is what half of a banana Let's do half because I want it to be like eh, I want to use almond milk next time but I don't have the almond milk in the fridge right now um, so we're just gonna use oat milk oat milk is creamier but I just feel like it's gonna make me a little too thick too quick so I don't get in the habit of it like it's so sharp that um, both my sister and I were washing the dishes and we both cut our hand in the same spot the exact same spot like on our thumb like right in here it was actually really creepy and then both of us got so scared that we never touched this watch my fingers i feel like i need a proper smoothie thing Ugh, but my mom gave mine away to this girl that my brother was dating if you're watching this that would be weird because like y'all ain't together but i should have measured this to a cup but again we don't be measuring I really hope this is busted, because if it's not, I'm going to be so mad. Uh, and then our blessed vegan protein powder. Why does protein powder be ruining things? I'm still going to drink it, though. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, it smells so good. Oh, I feel like this needs ice. See, I need a proper smoothie thing. I feel like this was... Oh my gosh, this was the smoothie one. Honestly, it's too late. It's too late. The blades are basically the same. Let's get it! Honestly, like people are just so weird. Like the way someone just knocked my door. I feel like it was the Canada Post guy. Okay, it was pure later. I swear he tried to open the door. Like that was just so unnecessary, bro. People be wildin'. But um yeah, like now I'm like very like I feel very antsy right now because like Remember how I ordered those Crocs? So I get it. It's like scam season. Taxes are like being done and whatnot. So like people are trying to like, I don't know, really like get a bag, I guess. But I ordered those things from Crocs and I got a text message this morning saying like, oh, your Croc 
order like there was an error in the pricing and please click this link for a refund to your interact and like in the text it also said my postal code so like it was just really weird because first of all I did not pay interact like I did not pay like debit or whatever and then how do you know my postal code if you're a scammer and then you're texting me like that's really creepy like first of all like you know where I live you look you know where I live at this point and then the link is not even I don't think it's an actual the actual croc website like, refund or it's something weird it was something weird and when you like click the link it asked to see if you're like a robot or something I don't know but I didn't get an email from croc like if you made an error on the pricing like, I didn't get an email saying you're giving me a refund. Like, I just feel really weird right now. And then someone today also DM'd me on Instagram, like, trying to ask to, like, do a mural of one of my photos and, like, how they're going to pay me because they're doing it for some client who lives in the U.S. and they want it in their home. Like, it's just so weird. Like, people are being so weird. And then after that incident with, like, the whole, like, Hermes, like, like people are just so weird right now. Like, they're just so weird. So we're going to, oh, it's so nice and cold. Should I have done this a little more? It's a little thick. She's a little thick. It's okay. If I have this in the summertime and it's hot or whatever, and then I want to sit out in the backyard, like you need it to be thick so that it doesn't melt easily. And then that way I don't have to put ice in it, which will water it down in turn, right? Do this so it doesn't touch the sides of the cups because I want to take a nice cute pick. Taste test. That's good. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That's really good. And the dates add like a little... I'm kind of glad I put half the protein powder scoop. Mm. Do the one with the bend. No, the straight one. Mm. No, I need some of my like hand in it so it's aesthetic. Dang it, I need to rinse this off again. And the dates add like a bit of a chewiness, which is cute. Um, kind of like tapioca a little bit. So I am going to head to the grocery store right now. I don't know if I'm going to bring you guys with me. Um, I always feel so awkward in the grocery store. I feel like people are always watching me. I try my best not to think of myself from like a bird's eye view. Or what's the term? Third party. I don't know. I can't not think of myself through the male gaze sometimes. One time I was like chilling in the grocery store. Okay, not chilling. I was getting some stuff in the grocery store. This guy is like clearly staring at my derriere, but in my head I'm like, you know what, like I'm gonna ignore him, I'm doing my thing, blah blah blah. So this guy's staring at me. He ends up bumping into some other dude, and then they start getting into a big argument. They're cussing each other out, and I was like, oh my gosh. And then like, he comes over to me, and like all gentle, he's just like, sorry, the pink was such a distraction. And I'm like, ew, like, <laughs> honestly, like, can I just... Unless you're cute, don't bother me. <laughs> that package was... was mine. From Urban Outfitters, guys, I have been so obsessed with Urban Outfitters recently. Like, they are so... They're such a vibe. Like, they have so much sick, edgy pieces at the moment. I kind of want to get into some of, like, their loungewear stuff and, like, their lingerie. But their sale section... I was so annoyed because I did it. I placed this really big order. Not really big. I placed this big. I base. I placed this semi big order, and like the stuff was on sale. And then I maybe spent like almost two hundred bucks. And then like I woke up this morning and it's extra forty percent off the sale. So I reordered all of it. I'm like, are you crazy? So one of the items is this flannel, which was sold out. So I couldn't reorder it, but it was fine. Ew, I don't like this. 
I promise you Urban Outfitters is doing well. I'll show you this other top. I'll show you the, this is not it. It looks too washed out. I feel like my camera's too overexposed right now. <clears throat> I need to change it. But like, let me show you the other top I got. So good. This little like flyaway top. These are like totally on my radar right now. They have like this cute little cutout at the bottom. So it's like cropped, but then your belly is still like kind of covered because it's like draping over. It's like <laughs> to fly away, like basically. Um, and it has like a deep V. And I got it in a large. And I find like I actually like their tops like a bit bigger because it just sits and it drapes rather than being like super snug. Like a flyaway top like this, I think should be very flowy and like dainty. Um, so yeah, the large works really good, especially for my chest as well. Um, and it still like skims along the waist. Uh, yeah, this was $26. I didn't get this one for 40 off because I was like scared. I'm like, oh, I know Urban Outfitters does extra 40 off their sale sometimes, but like sometimes I don't want to wait because what if it sells out? Dilemmas. Um, I don't know. What am I going to eat over the next few days? I could totally make another smoothie to take to work tomorrow, but... The straw is too small. But yeah. I'll see you at the grocery store, or I'll see you later. Um... But... Yeah, so I might bring you guys along. I don't know. I'll bring you. You know what? Let's go. You guys... I'm gonna get some confidence today and if someone's staring at me we'll deal with it I'm just not gonna bring this tripod because the tripod the little mini tripod that's too much grocery store isn't that packed for it being like five what time is it it's like after work 5 30 but i'm just gonna get a few more things and dip and i got cilantro or as the british say coriander um this this cocoa whip is so good with strawberries i also saw an um TikTok this like stuffed mushrooms recipe so I really wanted to make it a lox bagel I had bought some lox the other day so I needed some dairy free cream cheese I haven't tried this one by PC yet which expires soon yeah February 20th wow I should really check these dates it's like two days from now it's okay so I'll use this one for the mushrooms a brioche bagel because if I'm gonna eat carbs they might as well be sweet I like a sweet bread so this will hopefully good go well with the locks yeah I almost bought strawberries but I saw oh are they sweet are they actually sweet dairy-free mozzarella for the most part I try to be dairy-free not vegan or whatever these are such healthy good chips they have flax seeds in them so they're actually really good for like your digestion avocados if you live in toronto the best avocados right now the organic ones from metro nine dollars for three avocados but it's so worth it all the other avocados right now are really weird and stringy challah bread because like a sweet bread it's basically an egg bread these honey butter chips 
share some snacks if you're watching. Um, my friend Cheryl put me on these a, a while back and I remember tasting them for the first time and I was like, these taste nasty. But then you keep eating them and they're like an acquired taste. So I'll say straight up, this isn't for everyone, but like once you kind of start eating them, they're really, really good. I feel like a lemon pasta maybe, or I don't know, just for other things. Cucumber for the lox bagel. This is so good, like when you dip it with like apples and peanut butter. This peanut butter is so smooth, creamy, and it's not overly nutty. Cause I don't like peanuts, but I love peanut butter. So this one by Compliments is the best one. And hands down, this is the pink one is like the best one. This is the carbonara. It's like a cheese one. But then I also found this one. This is like it also says it's a cheese one. I don't know. So I'm glossing my hair right now. I don't really know if like I'm noticing much of a difference, but I am supposed to rinse it out. I hit another Nike jackpot. I don't know what it is. Like I'm I don't call myself lucky. I am blessed. But I'm sure God is probably like you didn't need another pair of Nikes. So whatever you want to call it. This time, I literally just walked in the store. The first two pairs that I showed you guys were a pair of Jordan 1s, but I finally have my first pair of Nike Dunks. Beigey nude color and white, and then they feature a gold check, Nike check. And what's really pretty about them, they just made them so girly. It's like, come on, who is on this design team? Laces, I don't know if you can see, but they're ribbon. They're slightly satin finish. Yeah, they're a little bit satin. Uh, now that I look at dunks, I actually don't love how round the toe is. I feel like Jordan 1s have a better shape. I just love the look of matching your Nikes to like a handbag. It's just so cute. So I'm so glad I'm still here for it. The Jordan 1 has a slightly pointier toe. Like, this looks like a hoof. Like, but it's okay. It's fine. I still like them. So then maybe I like Jordan 1, what's the lower one? Like, the mid? I feel like no matter what color clothing I'm wearing, it'll work. I have a white pair of Air Force 1s. <laughs> Very Toronto of me. They're like the Sage Lows, the platform ones. Sometimes a white sneaker is just too harsh and too stark with outfits, so I just feel like the nude is going to be a nice soft feature. So I literally walked into Nike and I was just like walking around and I was like, let me just look at the shoe wall. The shoe wall felt a little overwhelming to me. There was a lot of people looking at things and sitting down and I was like, maybe I should just leave the store right now. I saw these and I was like, ain't no way, this is just sitting on a wall right now. To the guy, I'm like, when did you guys get these? I'm like, can I get a 10? He's like, yeah, I think I have it. And he's like, we just got them today. And I was like, there ain't no way I walk in on the same day. A little tea for you. He was saying they usually get shipment Monday to Thursday, but they kind of don't really know like what's in the boxes. Like it's just like free for all. I mean, I don't know how true that is. That could be true. I actually believe him. For instance, if you want a pair of pandas, the black and white dunks, those really won't make it to the wall. He was basically saying you might as well buy a lottery ticket if you find one of those for retail. Which, I think the pandas are played. At this point, I'm kind of over it. I'm pretty sure the people who work there, you know, hide the stuff and sell it or whatever. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But, like, for the most part, it's worth walking in sometimes. If you, like, just want a really pretty color and just want to walk in and, on a day and see if you find it. Here we are! But yes, I'm gonna go rinse his hair and then I have to set up a table. The Chronicles with the bedroom continues. It continues. It continues. But yeah, does my hair look glossier? I don't know if I see a difference. I feel like that was a waste of my time. You know, I was racing down the highway. I happened to see a nigga I robbed back in the day. You know what? He was happy to see me. <laughs> 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 
keep me bottom one with sand. Oh, you should keep on dragging out of bread. You should eat the molly like it's candy. Yeah. Body slam a nigga like I'm brand. Yeah. I'm a hot, get a spread up. I'm a fuck, get a spread up. Leave a thot, get a spread up. Get your fuck, get up. Oh, you think you in a group? Get that shit split up. Okay. Trying to suck me land down and make the bitch sit up. Yeah, hot bars, dirty stick, case closed. We grill beef, nigga, charcoal. Selling pussy, hub, but JJ got a barcode. These broke ass niggas need charcoal. Used to use EBT to get seafood. Now Uber Eats when I want Chiku. She wanna hang, gotta let the gang G you. Metro was a lot of M's, nigga, me too. Hanging up my earlobes is a rock. Hanging up my waistline is a rock. The body in that casket was a I don't throw no bottles, I throw shots. All this drip on me, I need a money. Balenciaga boxes in the song. I got 10 freaky girls on a drown. Gonna drown. So, we are going to taste this. Let's see how it goes. I'm really tired and I feel like I ate way too many chips <laughs> before actually making this. Like, oh, I've been weaning myself off processed foods and like trying my best to eat whole foods and like as soon as I eat a bunch of like chips, my stomach's like, can you not? But we will try these. They don't look as appetizing, but they smell really good. So I think it's fully cooked because it like it's crispy on the top. It smells really nice. It's good. Thank goodness because like I made this pasta the other day. Pasta the other day. I just threw like I didn't throw it out. I had to like rejig it. I almost had to throw it out and it wasn't good. I just got me so cheese. When I take so much time and like do things and then it's not good. This is good. I just don't love the brand of cream cheese. I think if it was like um an onion and chive one, like a dairy free one, but I cheaped out because this one was like half the price of the expensive ones, like the branded ones, like the BioLife or the Daya. I don't really like Daya, but um I'm sure if you do this non-dairy free and like with Philadelphia, it would taste really good. I love spinach and I love garlic, so. I think it pretty well. So it like kind of masks this cream cheese. Because it's like a coconut cream cheese. I think, mm -mm. shouldn't do that. I don't like President's Choice's sour cream, so I don't know why I thought I could use sour cream cheese. I'm gonna give one to my mom. Look mm -hmm. good. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm gonna go see you in my next one. Sorry about the TV. How do you change? Rest in peace to Harry. Niggas broke, but they doing too much coming. Cashed out on my cards because I'm stubborn. Zone C6 is the word is how I'm coming. I'm coming. I came out the wound, I was pregnant. Ain't no fist fights, niggas up. Oh,